Um, so uh, we're, we're going to get into uh, we're going to get into four. We're going to get into the um, uh, uh, into the barrage, and we're going to get into losing Muck and Pankala. And then I'm actually going to bring Hoobler on as well because he's waiting very patiently. But there's a sort of different uh, line I want to go down with him. Okay. But just for everybody in the audience, um, let's let's double back. I didn't see any of you guys to boot camp uh, because I was in a different barracks, baby right. and Shifty. Uh, who I thought I got rid of after the AKA movie, and I had another two weeks of uh, boot camp. Um, they'd be like, "I think maybe I should paint the day instead. Should we just should we paint instead?" And it's like, <laughs> no, you have to get on parade because I keep getting details because of you. Anyway, <laughs> boys, give me a good boot camp yarn. Give me your best or worst boot camp yarn. I'm gonna well, start with you. T- I, 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 I know you, that. Well, I'll just say, like, I know, I, and I will lob to Tim because. A lot of the humor that we we built, the three of us. I mean, Scott and I. You are, you said at the opening, Scott and I are unapologetic goofballs and kind of come in with that energy and immediately clicked with each other and we're kind of those guys. And part of the humor that Tim brought to the table was his. And Tim, you already alluded to this. Was your nonstop complaining about the physical effort required at boot camp? That was just. <laughs> It was just hilarious, and I know you weren't really kidding, but it was just hilarious. I unapologetically fucking hated it. Yeah, <laughs> still do. But um, you were almost, it was almost. It was almost to me. This, this, we could do a whole two hours on on, on our boot camp. First of all, you got to remember there were two, there were three sections of boot camp. There were two platoons that had like. 25 people in them, and then right. there was one little platoon downstairs that had like seven. Right, and, uh, and I, I really felt at the time when it first happened, I'm like, well, why am I in this? I hate to use that word. I don't want to use that word. Why, why am I in this I don't, the bus? Oh. You know, there's the big bus and there's the short bus. I don't want to use table. that. You were at the kids' table. Felt, it, the kids' table, exactly. I felt like I was at the kids' table, but now in hindsight, it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me because every relationship was accentuated triply because you're just in this small thing. And I believe that me and Tim and Rick were the same person with different the personality. So here's the complaining one. Here's the funny. It was just this thing that just weirdly happened. And I don't know yeah. what indicated I don't know what indicated what. I don't know if it was a script that indicated us or we brought that to the script, but it made made boot camp for me because it's what yeah. I needed. It really is what I needed because I was scared. Right, and then the uh, and then and then it also sort of transpired into your into your trailers, didn't it? You'd walk past the trailer, and the three of you'd be giggling about something in there. Sure, and you think it's oh, me sure. talking about me, aren't it? I, I remember, remember the second day, the second day of boot camp. I had stolen this banana from the. Uh, <laughs> Rick knows what I'm saying. This is first of all, we're still we're still wide eyed and scared. Yeah. You don't you don't even want to meet anybody or talk to anybody or whatever. You're just trying to follow the rules, and. I had stolen this banana from the, from the mess hall and I had it and I was, for some odd reason, I picked it up like a phone and I said, Hey, Muck, it's for you. And I threw it to Rick's bait and he grabs the banana and goes, yellow. Oh, your banana. <laughs> and I went, that's the guy right there. I'm a lucky bastard to get to work with that every day. Yellow. I know you laughed your you laughed your face off. <laughs> I thought it was the quickest thing ever, and I'm like, no matter how scared I am, no matter how sad I am, how much I miss my family, I can always throw him a banana. You know. 